Da. Da. Uh. You like my karate skills, guys? What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoors More. Today, we're doing something a little different. It is fishing time, spring time. Uh, bass are on bed, so we're crappie. So, we're not fishing, surprisingly. I'd like to be fishing, but we're out here making these videos for you guys. So, first off, just a uh, look at this. That's right, some new merch coming soon, coming soon. So today we are actually doing a gear review, which I don't know if you'd call it that, but it's showing you guys what gear I use to go fishing. So we're gonna jump right into it and leave comments down below when you think I should drop the new merchandise and what video I should do next. So stay tuned for that, and I'll jump right into it. And today, wow, English is really tough. Into today's episode, there we go. So to start off, reels. Most important, you kind of need these. So rods and reels, um, you can get them just about any outdoor store. When traveling, for me, because I travel quite a bit. This is your key. Collapsible poles. You put them together like that. They're like, I want to say you can get them for around 50 bucks. And this one is a Shakespeare six foot medium action. So this is what I use for crappie slash small lures for bass fishing. Um, it's on an open face. And this open face is a black, Albu Garcia Black Max, where is it? Albu Garcia Black Max. Yep, so this is the medium version. They have a small for cropping and a large for, well, I guess whatever you're doing with that. So this is my open face. I like to use this one. And onto the next one we have crappie. So my crappie pole, I like something light. This is my heavier crappie pole. It's just not as flexible. What do you mean by light? So we got that. It's also another open face. Um, this one is, you guys probably haven't heard of this one. This brand before, Shock. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a, it is a well, it's six foot does not have the action on there, but it's a six foot rod. I think this one's also collapsible. Yep, also collapsible for easy traveling. So, we got that one. Yeah, I like to use this one for jigs and stuff because it's like super light. So, there's that one for crappie. Now, another one for crappie, I actually broke my other poles that I have for these reels. So, I will be looking for new ones. Drop comments down below if you guys know of any good rods I should buy. So, another crappie pole, we, a crappie reel I like to use is this Albu Garcia Cardinal. I like this neon line. It's like a four pound test, I believe. Um, if you can't tell, I'm a real big fan of Albu Garcia. Great prices, great quality. You can't, f like, I haven't owned a loose or anything, but the prices for them, I know they're super expensive. At least for me, because I'm 14 and I don't have a job yet. But they're really expensive. So these are great options to start getting into fishing. Go pick you up. I got Albu, Albu Garcia. This one I like to use for crappie fishing because it's a bit smaller, as you can tell. And I used a super light rod on it. It was like a four foot something ultra light. Can't remember the brand on that one, but I broke that one as you guys saw in one of the past videos. So we got that one, put that down there. And then for the bait caster, you guys always see in most of my videos, I love this thing, great investment. Best 60 bucks I've ever spent, the Black Max. That's right, it's another Albu Garcia. Uh, great starter reel for uh, bait casters. Easy to learn once you get the hang of it I to recommend a reel to start off with would not recommend getting a bait caster so this one 
is also came with a rod. I got the Black Max combo. You know, at your local Walmart, wherever you live. But this one I like to use for bass fishing. I used it for my heavier, heavier lures. Also used it on a heavier rod. Um, hold on, I'm gonna wait for this one to stop. Used it on a heavier rod, but broke that rod too, so. Drop a comment down below on a rod I should use for this reel. Now, on to tackle boxes. So, let's uh, get those out. So, before I uh, jump in to tackle boxes, I just want to show you guys how a mess this crate is that I carry all my lures and stuff into other tackle boxes in. So in this crate here, let's just start off with the trash. You got some water because you need some H2 to stay hydrated while fishing. Don't pick that up later. Don't report me for littering. So you know, we got a right-handed leather glove and farm work. You know, because you're definitely doing farm work when you're going fishing. Because why not? Um, what else we got here? Oh, we got the leather glove. We got this big old tackle box. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So we got that big tackle box right there. Uh, right here, we got a rod sock. Those are our trail special. We got our pliers. And then, crappy, just crappy tackle boxes right here. And then, uh, those are our trail. Right there. We got a spinner bait here, I believe. Right there. So, let's just go ahead and hop into this big boy. So, on the top here, if I can get this open. On the top here is where I keep these little kits for challenges and stuff. I keep those right there. And then right here, as you guys can see, all these spinner baits, buzz baits, uh, bigger buzz baits, chowder baits, anything like those. I, those get put in there. Recently just got this tackle box too, so really like it. Yeah. As we open it up here. We have our plastic tackle boxes. This one looks like terminal tackle mostly. Need to stock up on that. Get some more of that. So in here we have all of our hooks. Starting for smallest, going to bigger, to weights. On the chatter bait. Got some frogs. You know, top water frogs. Different colors, by the way, and there's only two. We have our uh, creature baits. Some more creature baits. Nice trailers, you know. Got some Senkos with the hook in them. So he doesn't like to hook themselves. Alright, next tackle box. Ooh, this one's a good one. Soft plastics. Um, so, uh, as you guys can tell from my videos, I don't really fish soft plastics. This year, I've just recently gotten into soft plastics, so I can tell you a little about a little bit about these. I don't really know a whole lot. These are lizards. Uh, I can't think of that color right now, but this is green pumpkin. Black and green chartreuse, pumpkin, more pumpkin. These are curly tail worms. These are like walker. Oh, I forgot what those are called actually. I'll just leave those alone. Lizards. This is actually the first color lizard that I caught my first soft plastic bass on. So be looking out for a video where I fish with all soft plastics this summer. more soft plastics even though I don't fish with them a lot and you guys may be wondering well, why does he have so many soft plastics and he doesn't really use it well that's because um, I'm a big fan of you guys and I thank you guys for your, for your support and that's why I give back to you and I recently just gave away all my hard baits so that is the reason I have absolutely no hard baits besides the one that I, you guys saw in there so I will be stocking up more on the summer 
So make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe for maybe a soft plastics giveaway with the tackle box. But in this tackle box, we got ourselves some Senkos. Um, forgot what those are called. One really, I think that's a 10 inch curly tail worm. Um, got ourselves some, shoot, what, ah, forgot what those are called again. Flukes, two different colors. Can't remember what those are called. I'm ashamed of myself right now because I can't remember what anything's called. It's like stage fright, but for filming. Okay, crappie. Um, I actually don't know what's in this one because I recently just got this one from someone else. So, okay, a bunch of crappie jigs it looks like. So some colors I've never seen before. Just to take you guys a good look at this. Those are some older colors uh, you don't really see very often now in stores. But these are all tubes. Crappie tubes, so. Alrighty, since we just opened that crappie taco box, um, the one I had no clue what was in, now we're gonna move on to crappie, my crappie taco boxes. Because if you guys know me, I do love bass fishing, but I do love to eat me some golden crispies. Mm-mm-mm. And -mm. just settle so good with you during the summer it tastes so good so if you guys want a video showing you guys how to fish these baits and when where everything about the bait um get this video to 40 likes and we'll be doing that so on to the crappie stuff but before we get into crappie stuff pliers big requirement when fishing because you never know when that when that uh, hook's gonna get stuck down the bass's throat, the crappie's throat, and you gotta do a little surgery on your fish there. So we got our, I believe these are, these are Rapala. I actually don't know how to pronounce this brand. If anyone knows how to pronounce this brand, I'm gonna wanna show up. But if anyone knows how to pronounce that brand, please drop it down in the comments down below, because I know it's been a big debate with everyone, but I have no clue how to say it. But now on to, okay, crappie. For a crappie tackle box here, for a crappie tackle box here, this one's a smaller one here. Um, all sorts of tubes. If you guys don't know me, I'm a big tube guy when it comes to crappie fishing. So pumpkin, Green chartreuse, some little curly tails, black and pink, sparkly ones, uh, banana. I like to call these banana. Don't really know that color. Black and green. So black and green is like one of the best colors you guys can use for crappie fishing. So that's a Kaysen's fishing tips for you for the day. Next, this one's hooks. So about these hooks in here. These are all crappie hooks, I believe, yes. So all the ones, I got me some swivels here for quick, quick attachment when I just need to change the bait super quick. Brush jigs right here with spinners. These are just jigs without the spinners. Those are really good for jigging. These are good, really good for swimming. These have spinners on them. Let me get one out there. They have little spinners that shine in the water there. I actually put that back in the wrong spot. Um, these ones, um, I've actually painted or dipped myself. Thanks to help, to the help of Sydney for helping me learn about them. But as you can tell, I do snap off a lot. That's why I have a whole tack box full of hooks. Got me some bobbers in there, don't really use them. Those right here. Those are some, um, what you gonna call them? Those are like spinners, but I can't really think of the name right now at the moment. But here we have some weights. They should probably be in my tackle terminal box. My bass fishing terminal tackle box. Wow, that was tough to say. But. Okay, on to the next one. 
Put that back on the side of the side over here. Don't you next? Okay, okay. This is actually a bass fishing one. So. And this one, we have frogs, topwater baits here. Green quad frogs. Uh, two of those frogs. And then we keep our jigs in these. I like to keep my jigs in this because you can get like two, two to three in here. If depend depending on the size, I like to sort them by color. So that's that. And the last thing in there is a stringer. Don't think you guys really want to hear about that. So, but uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. But wait a minute before you leave. Make sure you're subscribed and turn your post post notification, the little bell icon. Click it and scroll to all so you don't miss a single video that we post because you never know. There's some exclusive things that come out on YouTube that don't come out on any other social media. So stay tuned and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>